Hello YouTubers! Today I'm gonna test a couple of lithium-ion batteries of 18650 size. The Panasonic NCR18650PF and the LG18650 MG1. They are both rated at 2900 mAh and they both support discharge current up to 10 amps. So it's reasonable to test and compare them. Let's move on. All the tests were done using a special battery tester, the ZK ETEC EBC820, which supports 4 wire measurement, discharge current up to 20 amps, and it can be connected to a PC for building graphs. I've also used version 2.5 of my homemade battery holder. It holds a battery like this, or like this. I've followed all the prescriptions of the IEC 61960 standard concerning battery capacity measurement. The air temperature was 25 centigrade, and before each discharging cycle, a battery was charged at its standard charging current mentioned in its datasheet, and after that it was left uh, for one hour minimum. After discharging cycle, it also was left for one hour minimum. I've bought these batteries from Queen Battery, which is my reliable supplier of genuine batteries. They offer individual approach to each customer and special discounts depending on the quantity you buy. I will leave a link to their website and their email under this video. The Panasonic NCR18650PF cell which I've got has the following marking. CAV7522. According to his datasheet, it has the following specs. Rated capacity 2700 mAh at 20 centigrade. Minimum capacity 2750 mAh at 25 centigrade. Typical capacity 2900 mAh at 25 centigrade. Nominal voltage 3.6 volts. Standard charge current 1.375 amps. Charge and voltage 4.2 volts. Charge cutoff current 100 milliamps. Maximum discharge current 10 amps. Discharge cutoff voltage 2.5 volts. AC impedance less than 35 milliamps. Maximum weight 47 grams. The actual weight of the cell which I've got is 46.23 grams. At 0.2C or 0.55 amp discharge rate, Panasonic NCR18650 PF gave out 2956 mAh or 10.73 Watt hours. At 2 amp discharge rate, uh, the capacity was 2817 mAh and the energy 9.95 Watt hours. At 5 amps, 2817 mAh or 9.45 Watt hours. At 8 amp discharge rate, the result was 2782 mAh or 9.02 Wh. At 10 amp, it was 2789 mAh or 8.82 Wh. The LG MG1 cell which I've tested has the following marking LG GB MG1 1865, P2, 65, I2, 14, N2. It has the following specifications according to its datasheet. Minimum capacity 2750 mAh. Nominal capacity 2850 mAh. Nominal voltage 3.62 volts. Standard charge current 1.425 amps. Maximum charge current 2.85 amps. Charge end voltage 4.2 volts. Charge cutoff current 50 milliamps. Maximum discharge current 10 amps. Discharge cutoff voltage 2.5 volts. AC impedance less than 45 milliohms. Weight 46 grams. The measured weight of my cell is 44.78 grams. At 0.2C or 0.57 amp discharge rate, LG MG1 gave out 2843 mAh or 10.29 Wh. At 2 amps, it gave out 2725 mAh or 9.62 Wh. At 5 amp discharge rate, it gave out 2694 mAh or 9.07 Wh. At 8 amps, 2664 mAh or 8.60 Wh. At 10 amp discharge rate, the result was 2673 mAh or 8.45 Wh.
Let's start the comparison with the 2 amp discharge rate. As you can see, the winner is the NCR1850PF, but the results are very close and the difference is only about 300 milliwatt hours. At 5 amp discharge rate, the winner is again the NCR1850PF, but the difference is a bit more and it's about 400 milliwatt hours. At 8 amp discharge, the difference is again about 400 milliwatt hours and the winner is the NCR1850PF. Pay attention to the voltage seg in the beginning of its curve. The MG1's curve looks more linear. At 10 amp discharge rate, the picture doesn't change and the difference is again about 400 milliwatt hours. So, in the end, MG1 is a good battery, but NCR1850PF is a better performer. That's all for today. Like this video if you find it useful. Subscribe to my channel and look forward for new reviews. Bye bye.